we just wanted to get boots on the ground. We wanted to get set up. We wanted to get stuck in because we could see what um, devastation had been caused and what the local communities were going through. People needed rescuing. The clock was ticking and we just wanted to get to work. It was just heart wrenching to walk down a street and see that many um, fatalities. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. You had family members, um, mothers, literally were walking down with sheets with their children underneath sheets. We we literally found a needle, two needles in a haystack. Mm. It was it was incredible. Steve shouted out, and there was a um, a, a female voice came back. We've got to get them out. We've got to do this. It's it, we've got to get this rescue. They're there. We can't leave them. And that event turned into an 18 hour rescue operation where we were just rotating crews, digging literally with our hands and little shovels and sledgehammers and pickaxes. And I remember someone here in my tent, they've got, a, and I was literally, I'm, I get emotional now about it. There's so many other people who haven't been yeah. found. And it's, that that's the, that's the hard bit. It's, you, I know we can only do so much. That is the harsh reality of it and, and that, that's tough. Only us in this 77 strong team, which is made up of all manner of roles, will understand what we saw. We've took on a lot of emotions with it. There's been elation, there's been sadness. We, we made as much effect as we could as a, a team. It's always been, we've always been a family. The fire service is a family. If we got sent out there again tomorrow, we would do exactly the same.